Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. We are talking about the Rode Wireless Go and using it with the Canon EOS R for vlogging, videos, and documentaries like the one I'm working on. Small, light, simple, wireless, internal battery. Those are five of the reasons I like the Rode Wireless Go. Thanks for joining me. Mm. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. If you're coming here and you're already subscribed, thank you very much. And if you're coming here and have subscribed, please subscribe. Click the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications. Leave a comment. I love to engage with you and learn from you. We're all on this learning journey together. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I've been using it. I just got it. Actually, I bought two sets and I wanna share with you what I love about it and some of the things you might wanna keep in mind while you're working with it that might be a downside. First of all, what comes with it? You get the receiver, the transmitter. You get this custom mini coil cable to connect the receiver to the camera. You get this handy little wind muff or windscreen, custom fitted with two clips to fit, to clip on easily over the built-in microphone. You also get this handy little neoprene pouch, which I like. You get the receiver that has only an on button on one side, and then it has a decimal button and a link button for connecting the units. On this side, there's a cable port and a spot to connect your USB charger. All right, on the transmitter, the transmitter, you have the power button right here is on the bottom. And on the opposite side, you have the built-in microphone. You have a spot to connect a wired lavalier mic as well as a couple of indicator light. This side has a port for USB-C charging. Now here's the irony of having to explain why I love a wireless mic that doesn't have a wire. Well, in most wireless systems, you actually have a wired lavalier that goes to a belt pack. And in this case, you can actually have a wired lavalier that connects to this and use this as the belt pack. But the beauty of this system is you don't need to. There's no need for a wired lavalier it's got a built-in port right here. And so you can clip right here onto somebody's shirt. One of the downsides is there's blue indicator lights right here that are on when the mic is on. So if that is in your camera view, you might want to be aware of that and cover it with some gaff tape. But the beauty of this is it's a wireless mic that's really wireless. It can be as simple as putting this on a shirt and going. I'm going to be using this for the vlog that my wife and I do. I'm going to be using this for the documentary that I'm making about a local photographer. I'm going to use this for my vlog. I, I have a lot of plans to, to go wireless and um, it's really a lot easier to, to move around and think about creating versus thinking about, am I going to trip on a cable? Am I going to rip this out of my camera body because I got uh, caught up on a cable? A couple of tests here. That's good, not sponsored. Not sponsored as well. So I'm really excited about this. A couple of things to keep in mind is you have to maintain a line of sight. So the transmitter and the receiver have to be um, maintained within line of sight and it says it can go up to 70 meters. So I'm gonna test that. Another benefit is it pairs instantly. So like that, you turn on the receiver and you turn on the transmitter and you are connected. And it's super simple and easy to use. One of my goals is to use it by putting the transmitter onto a documentary subject on the lapel and then put the receiver on the camera. And as I'm capturing the subject, either working in the field or in an interview, I have that crystal clear dialogue audio going right into the camera. There's another possibility, because I bought two of these, so I was thinking ahead about having either um, more than one speaker, which is possible, but also the idea of using this to gather wild audio or even Foley sounds, Foley audio. So follow my thinking here. So if you're gonna have a microphone on your subject over there, and that's coming into, not the camera, but a mixer like this. So this is the Zoom H6 Audio, very cool piece of equipment. Um, the four dials on there allow four inputs, like custom controlled physical knobs where you can see easily the levels. The levels are right here on this screen. And so what you would have to do to use this with the Rode mic, you'd need an adapter like this, eighth inch to quarter inch. So for just sake of demonstration, we're gonna snap that into the side of here, put in your cable right here. So then you're gonna connect your receiver. So your receiver is right here and you would have one of these on the other side. And so you'd have two inputs and you would use your line out right here at the base 
to go into your camera. So the line out right here goes into the camera and you're blending these, the subjects uh, dialogue through the lapel mic and the Foley sound. So I might do something like, let's say you have a chef, how cool would this be? Or let's say you have a photographer, which I'm making a documentary about a photographer. Take that mic that's right there and clip it to, let's say their sleeve right here. That's a little floppy. I might turn it on the inside so it's braced against their arm. And you could get then sound from them shooting because I noticed the first time I went out to do the documentary, gather B-roll footage of the photographer working in the field is it was really cool to have those authentic shutter click and the pop of the flash. So you might have that sound coming from here. You might have a chef who's cutting, you know, in the in the kitchen and get some sounds right there. I've also seen it demonstrated. Um, you clip this to a pant leg to get footsteps, things like that. But this is really small and easy to place and you can secure it with gaff tape if the clip doesn't work. And I'm gonna put a link to a video up here or below with um, some cool um, creative uses for these, but that's definitely part of my plan as well. So you have uh, the idea that we can collect B-roll, Foley sounds, wild audio with this, as well as the dialogue and combine them using the Zoom H6 as a mixer or some other type of mixer. And so now let's go outside and get some footage using the, the Rode Go outside in the wild, not here in the studio. I'm in a studio that we have at work. Got some nice kind of padding here. It's it's not really soundproof, but it's sound isolated. And I, I like shooting in here. It's cool, it's cool. I like it. So let's go outside and get that footage and see how the mic works in the wild. All right, so we're going outside and we're gonna get some footage with some audio just here and the filter cranked there we go all right so I'm gonna walk over here to this uh, railing I'm gonna set the camera down on the rail put this I'm gonna set this right out here I think we're a little right there we go all right there we go we got this camera set on this railing now I'm gonna back up so we can see how the audio works all right so I'm about 10 feet away this is 10 foot audio now I'm about 20 feet away How's this audio? How's that sound? All right, now I'm about 50 feet away, I would say. Yeah, 50 feet, so how's this audio? All right, so I'm walking over to my car here. I had to adjust the filter a little bit. Um, so my car is 75 feet, maybe 100 feet away, and so they say it does 70 meters, so imagine three times this distance, which is really far. I, I think that's plenty, so. This is how it did in the outdoors in the wild.